Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still not sure what I'm going to do with the $17 forklift I bought from Mike Lindell. There's an abundance of hilarious and stupid to unpack, including the Fox and Friends Titan sub-level implosion while they ingest what's in the mail for Diaper Dawn, Mike Lindell's auction flops, Marjorie Taylor Greene thinking it's productive to display private Hunter Biden pictures, Jesse Waters clocks in another huge cell phone, and more, but first, this. Yeah. All right, everybody, welcome to the Lindell Report. Um, the, um, what's that? The, my tie's crooked, I'm hearing here from my, okay. So I, I'm just getting the studio. I, we, were, we were filming more my pillow stuff today. So, you know, we've sold over 80 million my pillows now, Brandon. Wow, that is amazing. 80 million. And I'll tell you, is that, that's like a Guinness Book of World Record, isn't it? What, that is more than the, the Eagles' greatest hits and Michael Jackson's thriller combined? Yeah, I mean, has <laughs> any one human being, has any one human being ever sold that many pillows? What a bizarre thing, comparing your sacks of chopped up foam to some of the biggest albums of all time. Lindell got lucky with his pillows. It's a low cost, high profit item that he markets to gullible far right Christians by sliding a Bible verse into the packaging and wearing his cross outside his shirt for show, something he's admitted to multiple times on camera. It is pouring MAGA tears. Get your pints, have a laugh with the good people in the comments as I mock all the latest and stupid and more. I am totally thrilled that Marjorie Taylor Greene is on my side because I would not want her displaying the pictures of my tiny toad with the porn star I paid to do it with me while my wife was at home nursing our infant son. This is really cool. Marjorie Taylor Greene presented explicit photographs of the president's son, someone that was never an employee of the United States government, and I have to say it was very inappropriate to show such imagery, but part of me was like, whoa, this guy's really cool, naked on a water slide, partying with the hookers. I disagree with Miss Green displaying those photos, but I can confirm it made me realize I've had a very boring life. Can I get a bump? Steve Ducey discusses just what could be in for Trump and that it's far beyond just saying that the election was stolen and now watch the rest of the Pine 11 crew implode as this happens. Yeah, a absolutely. And, and it's more, it sounds like from what we've seen and what uh, lawyers have said to the press behind the scenes and stuff like that, it sounds like it's more than just protesting that he lost the election. It sounds like they've assembled evidence about uh, tactics that the former president used to try to hold on to power after he lost in 2020, uh, assembling slates of so-called fake electors from swing states that the president had at that point lost, uh, pressured state officials to block or delay Joe Biden's win, and of course famously on January 6th, uh, tried to persuade the vice president not to certify the uh, election results in the Electoral College. That's just some of the stuff that could be in involved. Remember, we know all, all that. All, all we know for sure is, according to this source at ABC, there are three federal statutes. We don't know exactly the evidence. We just know that that is the case that has been uh, levied against him in the past. And Jack's MAGA tears. It's like watching Mike Lindell witness his auction ending and seeing that he sold several pieces of equipment worth thousands for as low as 10 bucks. It did not end well for the guy who pivoted a large business into a money burn pit. And I think it's hilarious. Thank you. I see every tip that comes through from pennies to dollars. They're hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks. So you, you no, should no, call no, up no, Donald no, and no, tell no, him no, how no, mad no, you are about no. it. Yeah, let's get Jesse Waters. She's so here. upset yeah. about RFK Jr. So what if he believes certain things about vaccines? Because they're dangerous. So what? Mm. If he believes certain vaccines are dangerous, so what, Jessica? So what? Why are you, you so for him. passionate about what he believes about vaccines? Why is that such a threat to you are your personally? Kids vaccinated? Yeah. So what? And why did you do it? Why did you make that smart because decision? Because my doctor said to get him vaxxed. So what if he believes that about vaccines? I, I've never seen you so upset 
over really? anything on the show. I think the Dobbs Because what bad. he said about <laughs> vaccines one time. It's, it's, it's not one It's time. actually kind of weird that you're so upset about what one Democrat thinks about vaccines. You can do whatever you want with your body. You could do whatever you want with your kid's body. Your doctor can decide with you what to do with your body. What does it have to do with RFK Thanks for Jr.? You're advocating for Roe. And, and You're advocating for Roe. I love seeing Jesse get totally owned, and I hope his mom called him up to salt that bloody gash on the side of his inflated head. It wasn't one time with Robert. It's years. This Scientific American article from 2017 points out his anti-vaccine unicorn wank going back to 2005. Whenever I encounter anti-vaxxers, they always quote this frog-throated fecal dipstick whose own family is totally embarrassed by him. People need to stop obsessing over beliefs. You can have your own beliefs, but you can't have your own facts. You can believe the earth is flat, but it's still a triangle. Our job is to resist and to talk about it to everybody. If you're walking down the street, and I do this now myself, which is, you know, I don't want to do, I'm not a busy body. I see somebody on a hiking trail with a carrying a little baby, and I say to him, better not get him vaccinated. And he heard that from me. If he hears it from 10 other people, maybe he won't do it. You know, maybe he, maybe he will save that child. Garbage human trying to destroy our world. He's banged on for years about vaccines. And even his own wife, who I still cannot believe married him, tweeted this back in 2022 after his comments about the Holocaust. Cheryl Hines is an actress and likely had to tweet it for PR damage control, but like she's married to him and so she's backed him for ages. And this hurts because I'm a huge Curb Your Enthusiasm fan and as many know, Larry David is my father. Okay, he's not, but he's pretty, pretty close to him. Also, I'm obviously part Ashkenazi Jew, and I got COVID a year ago, Robert. I just don't get it. Like, if you're dating someone and you find out that their previous wife hung herself after they were cheated on for years, bit of a red flag. This guy played Jesus in a Mel Gibson movie. Now he thinks he's Jesus and Trump is Moses. Hey Jim, Stormy said mushroom, not Moses. Turning yourself orange with a spray tan is not a miracle. Trump hasn't freed anyone. He's only gotten people jailed and he's broken nearly every commandment. This cult is on stupid pills 24 seven. And he's got boxes under his Corvette on his garage floor with a garage door that you can cut open with a scissor. We know those doors, you lift them up. They advertise them, you lift it up with one hand. This is the protection. I have a garage. And even the dumbest thief in the world would not try and spend all night trying to get through it with a pair of scissors when they could just pick the lock or use a couple men to force it open or, or even just get a universal remote control and find the right frequency and then just stroll right in. I would love to see Trump in a heist film like on the Ocean's Eleven team with his pair of scissors. This guy doesn't know anything. People walked right through his border wall using a basic car jack to bend the steel and others climbed over it with the ladders they bought from the Home Depot a few miles from the border. Too easy. Now look at this picture of Jim with Carrie Lake. Okay, I'm, I'm all for rocking a man bag, bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you want to call them. I started with it when I broke my leg in three places and was stuck in pocketless shorts for months. And then it just kept on going. If The Rock says it's cool, I'm all in. But Jim's is strangely small. This is like having a tiny hat or a giant jacket. Not working. What do you think he's keeping in there? Mountain Dew? <laughs> like, let me know in the comments and please keep them clean so I can see them. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again, good dude. I woke up to get a bottle of reverse osmosis alkaline Patriot water and realized she was in the hallway and I was like, uh, what are you doing up, MTG? Seriously, I talked to her for five minutes before I realized it was not my leather skin beauty, but my old baseball glove on a pile of dirty laundry. Now, she is not sleeping well because Dark Brandon used her own words to promote him in a new video. And I know what it's like because a judge totally caught me doing this. And that struggle to talk fellow BS artist Kennedy also had his own words handed.
handed to him. The Democrat overlords are obsessed with showing, like, receipts and evidence, and I think it's totally unfair. I have been on full cheer-up mode for MTG, so she's been making me bring her fantasies to life, okay? I played the part of a lawyer named Hunter Biden, and she's the lady of the night that I paid with company dollars. It's a bit of a stretch since those two are at least decent-looking and educated, but she really got into that whole thing. I even had some hotel soaps from my many anti-globalist overlord conventions to create the mood. Full transparency, I started taking those from hotel rooms because my wife pummeled me with a shampoo bottle and I had to call 911, so I like to avoid being beaten with finesse so I keep it small and generic. Now, I was all in for this little home movie we were making, but as the director, I had to remind the blonde meat swamp, I am Jason Bobert, pepperoni pilled to the max for this little home movie, and you will be riding with Biden. But for my safety and the safety of anyone that gets their hands on this video, we cannot be exposed to your yard sale easy bake oven turn up toes gorilla glued to soles and heels that look like the reject bin at an abandoned FDA unapproved donkey meatball factory. I can't even go into Ikea because I don't have a passport and even if I made it through the Swedish doors the sight of their retired racehorse meatballs covered in that MTG tone gravy is enough to trigger my super supplemented neurons reminding me of the time I stumbled upon a glimpse of those Steven Tyler hobbit feet that look like a Klingon's forehead wedged into a water ski and then hit by Steve Bannon's criminal boss's yacht because what is the rule MTG the socks stay on their socks stay on you are the type of men that go to see the Barbie movie <laughs> mega tears you think you're funny but you're not <laughs> mega tears you are only attacking Alex Jones because you want to suppress the truth from getting out and destroying your reality. I bet when the full doc dump happens, and it will happen, you will delete your account and go back to your day job. <laughs> Mega tears. Mike Lindell is a man of God, good, and grace, and you are a loser in a basement followed a herd of aimless liberal sheep. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.